according to c equals to epsilon naught a over d, we need the large plate area and the small plate separation to produce capacitors with large capacitance. Then in 1837, Michael Faraday discovered that when he placed a dielectric material between two plates of a capacitor, the capacitance increased. A dielectric material is an insulator. So air, paper, and mica are dielectrics. A dielectric material has a dielectric constant, kappa. Kappa is a Greek letter. Written in lowercase, it is kind of like a lowercase k without the top sticking out. For example, air has a kappa that is about 1. There are different types of paper, but usually their kappa fall between 3 and 4. Mica has a kappa of 7. Of course, you do not have to memorize these numbers, although you should know that the kappa for air is about 1. When the space in between the two plates of a capacitor is filled with a dielectric material, the capacitance increases by a factor of kappa. Let's compare two identical sets of parallel plates with the same plate area and the same plate separation. Each set has one plate with positive Q and one plate with negative Q, the same amount of Q. The first set has vacuum in between and a uniform electric field E1 here. The second set has a dielectric material field between the plates. Because of the charges on the plates, the molecules in the dielectric get polarized like this. These polarized molecules also produce electric field, and their electric field goes out of the positive charge and into the negative charge, mostly opposite in direction to the field produced by the charges on the plates. This makes the net electric field E2 here weaker than the electric field over there. Since V equals to ED, and both sets have the same plate separation, and the second set has a smaller E, therefore a smaller voltage. Since Q equals to CV, for the same amount of charge stored on the capacitor's plates, the second set has a smaller voltage, which means that its capacitance must be bigger. So a capacitor filled with dielectric material has a larger capacitance. Without dielectrics, the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is C equals to epsilon naught times A over D. With dielectrics, C equals to kappa times the epsilon naught A over D, or kappa times the original capacitance, which means the vacuum's kappa is 1. Since air's kappa is just about 1, air field gap is almost the same as vacuum gap. Let's look at this capacitor again. With an air gap, the capacitance is uh, 0.26 nanofarad. I'm going to fill the gap with a few sheets of paper. Now the capacitance is higher. 0.9594 nanofarad. So for that parallel plate capacitor, when it's air in between the plates, the capacitance is 0.26 nanofarad. When it's filled with paper, the capacitance becomes between 0.94 and 0.95 nanofarad. Let's just use 0.945 for it. Please use this information to find the dielectric constant kappa for the paper we used. C equals to kappa times the original capacitance, so 0.945 equals to kappa times 0.26, and we get kappa equals to 3.63, which does fall within this range. And remember these rolled-up cylindrical capacitors? 
the insulating sheets between conducting sheets not only function as insulators to keep conducting sheets from touching, but also serve as dielectric to increase the capacitance by a factor of kappa.